the calm after and before the storm. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We have high pressure in charge for today, kicking away yesterday's coastal storm, but also will be helping to influence our coastal storm that does arrive tomorrow. Let's take a look at what to expect here, depending on where you are. If you're along the shore or in mainland Cape May County, we're talking about a good soaking rain here. It will begin early Wednesday afternoon, continue for the rest of the day and into the overnight hours where we can be talking about upwards of two or two and a half inches before it all ends early Thursday morning. No snow will be likely here, although if you see snow, I don't think it's going to accumulate. What we will see is stronger even damage winds along the shore where power outages will threaten and as we go into the Thursday morning high tide moderate flood stage much stronger than what we saw yesterday morning or even this morning here across the area we are talking about multiple hours of flooding and that could even extend blocks inward now for the rest of the area mainland Atlantic County mainland Ocean County all of Cumberland County rain also begins this storm too but as we make our way towards midnight we will see a slow transition to snow early Thursday from west to east across the area. Snow as it falls mainly sticks to colder surfaces. And while we are talking about breezy conditions along the mainland, I think for the most part, we're staying away from those damaging winds. Although your snowman that blows, that floats up and is inflatable, well, that might get damaged. Let's take a look at our snow to come here across the area. All rain for most of Cape May County into Epsecan Island and over to Brigantine as well. For the rest of the area, and that does include everywhere from about Tuckahoe over to Bivalve on north and west for our region, according to an inch and a half. Some portions in the shade of blue, we're talking about Hopewell, Upper Deerfield Township, getting into parts of Hamilton, one and a half to three, and then three to six as we go further north and west. I would not be surprised with an update later today we push these colors together and we even introduce another color for the far northwestern portion of the area because i do think this gradient is going to be awfully tight stay tuned for that as we look at our winds along the shores where we'll see our strongest winds as we were saying before sustained winds the winds that are consistently blowing will be 30 to 40 miles an hour in places like avalon ocean city atlantic city with gusts up to 55 Anytime you see gusts over 45, that's where you can start to see some power outages as well as down tree limbs or even down trees. The rest of the area, a good wind from the north and east, but not as strong as along the shore. Let's get back to our forecast for today. Wind chills will be in the low 20s everywhere to start. It is a little bit breezy out there. Wind chills will be around 21 in Stoke Creek, 22 in Seattle City, 23 over in Ocean City. Temperatures will start in the 20s, make their way to the mid 30s on the mainland. Over at the shore, we were in the mid 30s earlier this morning, and we will continue that way as we go into the middle part of the morning. We had that light northwesterly wind, but it will be a little bit stronger along the shore, and that's why we will see those wind chills pretty much even out everywhere across the area as we make our way towards 7 o'clock. For today, we'll have high temperatures around 40 degrees here. Good amount of sunshine early, and then we'll see some clouds build in ahead of our second coastal storm. And then as we look at our mainland seven-day forecast, we'll show you that the first half of Wednesday will be dry. So if you have outdoor plans or you want to go for a run, do it during the first part of the day. And even Thursday, most of the day is going to be dry. That being said, it's going to be awfully chilly and a little bit windy as well. Wind chills will be around 30 degrees for most of the day. Now look at those low temperatures on Thursday and Friday on the mainland. In the teens, this is going to be our first widespread teens event in South Jersey. We'll flip on over to the shore. We're expecting a 50-50 weekend here. Does look like Saturday will be the drier of the two days. And as we make our way into Sunday, a couple of showers, and then we'll be above average as we go to Monday. Coming up at 1.30 today, we're going to tweak that snow map for you. And we're also going to update you on the timing, as well as the coastal flooding and the winds. You can follow me on social media for the latest, or you can always come back to our website where you can subscribe to my newsletter at thepressofac.com slash weather.